somewhat common situation you might find yourself in is you've been working a lot on your repository, making a whole lot of changes. So here's my repository. You know, I added a script. I uh, added another markdown file. It's doing a whole bunch of things. And then I realized, oh, you know what? My README, I I wiped out everything. And I, I, I'm not happy with that. I want to go back to the state of the README about right here. Uh, no, not there. Let's see. So I'm just kind of going through the history. I'm back on GitHub desktop here. I'm going through the history. I'm trying to find out where I liked it better. Not there. Ah, here we go. It's long here. So I've I've got this set up so that it's split. So I can see the README and I can expand everything. So now I can see everything here. Let's expand that too. There we go. So now I can see exactly the state that it was in here. And maybe I decide, ah, you know, I really want it the way it is here. So now what I do is I right click and I'm going to copy the, um, the code here for this commit. It's right here. You can also get it from up here. Copy. Okay. And now I'm going to go here to the uh, terminal and I'm going to do git check out and then I copy that in and then I need to add on the exact file name so I, I need to it's got to be exact so it's got to be the base location and then readme.md so now if I go back into here into, uh, you can see it's got that back in there exactly how I wanted it. So I can go here, go to changes, and you can see it's done that. So I can say, uh, go uh, back to long version, commit that. And now when I go to the history, you can see it went from here back to there. So that's how you can pick one change using um, kind of using GitHub Desktop to get the, um, uh, what, um, you know, code for the commit is. And you can use the history, too, to just kind of scroll through the status of that file so you can find exactly what you want.